Hello YouTube, so I'm going to be replacing the ignition switch inside here, uh, behind the key. I've had this problem for a number of years actually, um, I've never bothered fixing it because it's never been that big a problem. But what happens is I'll turn into the on position there, I'll wait for my glow plugs to go out, and then when I go to crank the engine nothing happens. Like that, you see, nothing happens. But usually when I go to do it a second time, it'll work. By good old trial and error, I managed to actually figure out that if I turn it into the starting position and then push up, it will start the engine. So if I go like that, see? Now that's probably fine. I could live with it as it is if I wanted to, but I am not going to. I'm going to get inside here and I'm going to replace the ignition switch there, which hopefully should solve the problem. I'm going to start off by removing all the plastics. So it's two or three screws under there. You can see the three screw holes. I've already taken them out um, so I can just pull it off and then it just the top comes off like that. Get that out of the way. The bottom you have to pull off of the bar so it's, you can see it's clipped onto the board and ooh, I'm gonna break it like that. Ah, <laughs> oh, trying to work with one hand. Now that's off, I'm also going to remove this just to get this out of the way so we've got more clearance down there. Pull this off. Ooh. There we go. That's all the plastics out of the way. And now I can get good access to this down here. So just around the back here we've got the switch into here, the cable, sorry. And it's got two clips, top and bottom, if you squeeze them in. I need two hands, but I'll pull that out. Oh. Right, you can see it's got a number of contacts here on this cable, and this is going to be all the different positions of your key uh, connecting in a way that I do not understand, but I do know that if you connect the big red in the middle to the big red with the black stripe, that one and that one, the two big red ones, that is going to actually do the same as cranking your engine up. So if you did want to fashion some sort of switch on your dashboard to start the engine up, then you would be wiring it up to connect to that and that. But if you do that, make sure it is properly fused. In fact, I'm not recommending anyone does that, just fix it the proper way. So when you put your key in, this sort of allows you to turn it if it's the correct key, of course, and then that's linked into the switch behind here. The switch isn't specific to the key, so you can just buy a replacement switch itself. I bought it off eBay for $7.99 free postage, so that is what I need to remove and replace. Um, and to remove this, you've got a screw, which is in a really, really awkward location. Let's have a look. So that cross-head screw there is going to allow us to remove the switch, but you can see that's way, way, way too tight to get a screwdriver in there. So I'm going to have to improvise. Um, I saw someone else on YouTube had a modified short, tiny little short screwdriver. I'm going to try a slightly different method. So I'm hoping that this bendy screwdriver set is going to do the job. I'll give it a try with the smallest one first. If we look under here, um, a little bit restricted with our movement with these wires. Um, I'm just going to move these out of the way. It's going to make the job a little bit easier. So under here, you've got this one here. You just need to push that in. Ooh. Pull that one out. And the same with the uh, red one underneath. Okay, pull those out. That means I've got much better access down here. So now I can get that in there. Let's 
Spin it ever so slowly. There we go. It's about getting the right rhythm. Oh, there it goes. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> where did it go? Oh, there it is. There you go, tiny little screw. Little bugger. There we go. I should now just be able to start up my van just with a screwdriver by spinning that. There we go. So that's the basic ignition switch here. Turn that off. Ooh. All right, a couple of days later, and I have this top brand switch for a T4 ignition. Like I said, $7.99 from eBay. And this has been shipped from Germany. It looks something like that. And you can see that's just a a direct replacement for this so I'm just gonna swap this over and test see if it works it's fighting me a little bit ah, that'll do it nice Let's just give this a quick test with the key here. Looking good. Hmm. Yep. Right, now I'm going to take the time to just do the reverse, put this back in the, uh, the reverse of what I did, put it back in the barrel. And then I'm going to take the time to get that screw, uh, where is it? Get the screw back in, just up here. I'm not going to film it, it's just the reverse of what I did before. Right, that screw's in place and all tightened up. I'm just now going to take the time to pop my key in the ignition and uh, just check, see if the problem's fixed or not. If it isn't fixed, I'm assuming it's the it's more the ignition barrel that's got the issue, in which case I'll carry on to replace that part. But hopefully this will have worked. So if you remember before, it only started up if I pushed the key up. So now I'm just going to spin it in a normal manner without pushing up, see if it works. Try again. There we go seems to have fixed the problem and I'll just put all my plastics back on and then give it one last test. There we go, good as new. Um, not a lot else to say about that really, super easy. I'll just give it one final test. Cheers.